Let's look at scale changes. We of course know what the graph of y equals x squared looks like by now. Let's see what happens when we replace x with x divided by 3. So in order to see what's going on, it's probably easier instead of using just one number to create a variable, and that's what I've done on the next page. So y equals x squared includes the point 1, 1. What happened to this point 1, 1? B is the horizontal, because it's x, B is the horizontal scale change. Point 1, 1 is one unit away from the y-axis. When b is 3, it's now 1, 2, 3 units away. Or if I make this 2, it's 2 units away. If I make it 1, it's 1 unit away. If I make it 0, it's 0 units away, and so forth. All right. So whatever b is, is the horizontal stretch. Similarly, I can replace y with y divided by a, and a is the vertical stretch. So the graph y equals x squared goes through the point 1, 1. This point got stretched up not 1, but 1, 2. It's two times as far away from the x-axis. Or when a is 3, it's now 1, 2, 3 times as far away, 4 times as far away, and so forth. And then we can combine the two. When, let's say, a is 2, it's now the vertical stretch is 2, making a 1. When b is 2, the horizontal stretch is 2. And when they're both 2, it got stretched up and over. Or b could be 3, up 2 and over 3. What's nice about this principle is that it works for any function. So if I change this from x squared to the square root of x, the same principle holds. In this case, b is the horizontal stretch. When b is 3, this point 1, 1 got moved 3 times as far away from this axis and so forth. And it even works negative on the other side, but that will come later.